Utah's record-setting snowpack led to flooding throughout parts of the state in the spring. News specialist Tamara Vaifanua shows us how Salt Lake County neighborhoods worked together to protect homes when that snow quickly began to melt. Rivers and creeks running high and fast due to the biggest snowpack ever recorded in Utah. In April, Emigration Creek overflowed, 35 houses were evacuated near 1700 South and 1500 East in Salt Lake City. This is absolutely wild. Maya Smith and Tyler Thorne watched as the flooding inched closer to their home. Like this was almost like a fountain or like a geyser that was shooting up in the air. Hundreds of volunteers build a wall of sandbags to keep the rushing water out. If this river would have kept going up, I was concerned that the water would eventually get into the basements. In neighborhoods closer to Emigration Canyon, people raced to throw sandbags as the melting snow flooded homes in the upper parts. It was inc incredible how quickly it happened. A plug culvert sent water gushing toward Tim Erickson's home. If you can believe that it was two feet or three or four feet above that culvert, and I'm not kidding you when I say I was saying bye to this house. We had to tear down the rock wall and tear down the fence. The melting snow also caused more than a dozen mudslides. So it's been nonstop pretty much for the last three days. Erickson thanked volunteers for stepping up and saving his home from major damage. It was inspiring and like makes me want to like <laughs> ball. <laughs> the small community battling the rising floodwaters together. I just, I can't sing the praises enough of these people, you know, of the people of this canyon. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua.